This is in response to Jim Hammond's question relating to uploading and downloading videos with YouTube. Um, we'll, we'll cover the upload first because there's a few things I need to show first. Um, first thing is uploading. File sizes are pretty big on this. This is my DSLR camera. Produces really nice pictures, nice audio, etc. Um, I've got my GoPro, also big files, HD. Then the files get a bit smaller when I drop onto my Samsung. And then they get even smaller when I use my uh, webcam, which obviously I can't show you the webcam because we're actually using it. So what you have is the first two cameras, the files are like this, my mobile phone is like this, and then you'll find that the um, camera on the computer is about this size. The reason I do that, if I talk megabytes, what, what's the point? A lot of people don't understand what I'm talking about. But the other side of this being, if you use Movie Maker, uh, which is a product that goes with the Microsoft uh, Windows, the files are like this. They're bit, very big. They'll produce a, say, a movie that's, say, 500 megabytes. The, don't worry about the size or time. I'm not telling you how long that video is. It's just to say it's 500 megabytes. Um, but then the software I use is called Camtasia. Camtasia will actually make that file 150 megabytes. So you can see the same file is much smaller. Same quality. The difference is, is codex, um, I believe. Now, if you don't know what codec is, if you imagine when you put a region DVD in your DVD player and some of them won't play because they're region 4, region 2, etc., that's a codec. That's the basic codec because that's just to lock your regions. But other ones actually write the file differently. So the same file could be this size, this size, this size, or because of the way it actually writes it. It's exactly the same file. It's just interpreted different, which reduces the size. Um, so that's the first important bit. Now, if I do them on my big camera, it can take me in Spain a day and a half to upload one movie. Um, if I do them on this, I can do about six in a day. If I do them on my cam uh, video camera, uh, my webcam, I can do that video in about an hour because they're all slightly different. They come out in different formats, there's different compression, etc. So the fastest way of producing them is on my uh, webcam. You can see the webcam quality isn't bad either. The reason being is it's a top of the range Logitech one. When I say top of the range, it's top of the range for Logitech. Not the best on the planet or whatever. It's their most expensive model. Um, it, the quality is good on it. It's used for business use. Um, so it's actually ideal for this sort of purpose. Because um, you know yourself, you're sitting watching it now. This is the quality it outputs. It's, it does the job. Now, Moving on from that, so doing it with this takes an hour, maximum two hours. But when you're watching on YouTube, down here in this, again, that corner, you'll see a little cog. That cog will tell you what you're watching the, the video in, because I know Jim's mentioned about the buffering. Well, these videos are recorded in full HD, they're um, 1280 by 720, but you will find down here you you may be watching it in 380 or something because they'll actually reduce it to your bandwidth so YouTube picks up the speed of your internet connection and will adjust it sometimes people put disable hate um, so it's only HD or whatever personally I'll just say adjust it to what your internet settings are um, if it's if you've got poor internet service then reduce it here in Spain we allegedly have 10 meg down, but it's I think it's actually uh, 3 megabyte, and our up speed is supposed to be 1 megabyte, it's about 300 kilobytes. See, I told you all that in megabytes and stuff, and you're going, well, that means nothing to me. Exactly. Um, but the point being is, for a good um, streaming, you're looking at much faster than that. Um, I'll explain this. For example, I've started doing these live ones with the um, Google Hangouts, the live video shows that are 
been a disaster so far. The, the the last one we did actually come out okay. Video quality's pants, but I'll explain why. For HD quality, I need 1.5 megabyte of speed going up. You know, that is the minimum um, to get the quality. The next one down from that is just like, let's just call it video. It needs one megabyte. And then if you're struggling, there's another one below that, which is 300 kilobyte, which is a bit blurry and pixelated. And then if you can't even get that, it's down to 30 kilobyte, which is audio only. So there's four different settings on Google Hangouts just for suiting your internet requirements. Because you've probably seen the first one and thought, well, this is really naff. It's all jiggery and you can't hear what you're saying. That's because it was done in HD and it was pants. But at least I could turn around and say, hey, it didn't work. Let's, let's reduce it a bit more. Then last night I did about four or five videos, lowering it until I got it where it's watchable. Not exactly happy about it because I'd like a, a better quality, but I'm stuck with it. Now, the other thing with this is, could I upgrade my internet? Where I am, the answer is no. I'm, I'm on a 10 meg line, allegedly, which is only actually 3 meg. Um, but because we live in a seaside area, we don't have fiber optics of that here. We don't have a large local population. We have a regular small population. Um, you know, we've got lots of houses, lots of tourists, but the actual people here all year round is probably only about 15% of the population of the housing because everything else is rentals. So that basically stops most of the big developments here because there's no market for it because it can be quite expensive. I mean, the internet connection I've got here uh, that is terrible is 45 euros a month, which is quite expensive for internet um, considering it's terrible. You know, in the UK, I could get it a lot cheaper and a lot faster. But then again, the area we live in Worcester is actually a large city. So with that, you've got the connectivity because you've got a large population. I mean, it's not only a large population, you've got a large amount of population that actually want it as well, because that's the other thing. I mean, where we are, the average age must be about 55 to 60. And a lot of people are just bimbling around doing stuff they were doing 50 years ago. You know, a lot of them aren't internet savvy. Nothing wrong with it. It's just that that's the way a lot of people are. It's just they're, they're still living their normal lives they have been for the last 50 years. So there's no urgency of getting the internet switched on. So with that, you can see it can get uploading, depends on what you're actually doing. Um, I like using the Samsung phone because the file sizes aren't huge. Um, I then put them from my phone into Camtasia and it'll reduce the size a bit. And when it outputs, the quality is good enough for YouTube. At the same time, it doesn't take a week to upload. And that's why I do it that way. Now, the Philippines, when you're watching and streaming, um, it's that little bit in the corner, uh, which is that way. Just see what it's running at. If it's 380 or whatever, um, then your internet connection isn't fantastic, but you'll find that it will sort of load like first 10 seconds, then one, two, three, four, another bit will load, and it, you know, it's slow. Um, the best way I do with the internet is, is called a cup of coffee. I, all I do is I'll say, right, I'm going to watch that. Start upload, uh, start downloading to watch it for streaming and go and get my cup of coffee. And when I come back, it's loaded. That's the easiest way of doing it. It's no point sitting there waiting for it because it ain't going to load. It's just slow. Spain is a bit faster, um, but it's all to do with hops and stuff. Um, also, the Philippines has had some of its cables damaged with the, the typhoons and that sort of thing. Um, as such, it does have problems getting outside the Philippines. That's why they'll go, oh, super fast broadband, 100 megabyte, 
up to Manila because we can't go from Manila to America because our cables are damaged. It's, it's very slow because that's the reality. It can, inside the country, it's zoom, 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 but you've got to get to the servers. Um, and this is where the the servers hit in the sit in the main hops, the the main towers, for example, London Tower, for example, the BT Tower, is where the UK goes out. You know, the majority of it. So being close to the tower gives you fast speed because you're right next to the tower. If you're like in New York, there's towers. They they're all over the place. This is why they you know they have the World Wide Web where it's all interconnected. These main towers are your main hops for the main communications between countries. Um, it, you're rerouting through all of these connections to get to where you want to be on the server. So that's why the internet may be fast in the inter in the Philippines, but just outside it starts to slow down. Spain doesn't have that issue, I'll be honest with you. It's not fantastic, but it is pretty fast compared to the Philippines. Um, you know, I'm connecting to servers on YouTube. When I, like I said, I can sit and upload loads of the videos, no problems. Um, but also, the kids are on their tabs downloading at the same time. They're playing games. Uh, April's on her laptop watching YouTube videos and I'll dub. And I'm sat with the videos uploading doing other stuff in the background so the answer to that is yes it's a lot faster because I know some people go oh it's not that slow in the Philippines you know because we we upload okay blah, blah blah yeah but we we've got five or six people using the same connection at the same time as well um, there's no way I'd stop my kids doing what they do because I'd end up with them jumping around harassing me if they've got no internet to work with like here Oops, uh, at the moment on his tab, playing Plants vs Zombies before we go out for a picnic. You imagine what he would be like trying to do his video with no tab sat next to me. He <laughs> wouldn't be quiet, that's for sure. Did you want to pop your head around, Oob, and wave? Just wave at the camera. Keep coming. Come on. There, see? He is actually hiding there. <laughs> so yeah, um, that hopefully that answers most of your questions. Now it brings me on to another question actually, because in fact I'll do it on another video. It's actually in relation to a GoPro camera, but I think it's another one I want to talk about. Um, so anyway, this subject's covered. Any more questions? Just leave them below. I'll happily answer them.